Hello, movie lovers. Yeah, it's Bob. It's Friday. It's time to talk about the movies I watched this week. Although there was none of this last week, last Friday, I never made a video. I was gone on Thursday. My brother came down and picked me up, and we went all to Oshawa. Oshawa. Uh, that's along the 401 path, uh, along the 401 here in Toronto. Anyway, but I uh, went out there for the weekend, spent time with my brother, stuff like that, you know, watch movies, stuff like that, and, you know, set out back. And all weekend with your brother. That was Donnie. Anyway, let's talk about the movies I watched this week. I didn't watch too many last week, like I said, I wasn't here. So, I'm pretty sure these are the ones I watched this week. So, let's talk about them. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Jeez. I watched a uh, slight case of a larceny. Two pals open up a, ga a service station and try to sabotage their uh, rival's business. Two uh, guys open up a gas station. They were originally in the war together, and they come home. Uh, one guy is all set up with a wife and a couple of kids, and the other guy, which is Mickey Rooney, of course, shows up, right? You know, he's got all these bright ideas and things like that, so he gets the guy to mortgage his house and <laughs> buy a gas station. <laughs> anyway, it's funny. It's, it's all right. I watched on TCM. Uh, that, that's 1953. That's 1953. Mickey Rooney's in it, so that was on TCM. I gave it a, what did I give it? I think I gave it a six. It's all right, you know, it's, it's all right to watch. Uh, the other movie I watched was uh, Thor Thoroughbreds Don't Cry. A uh, roughneck boy and a British kid, and they're, uh, they get together, and Mickey Rooney's in it, right? And uh, Judy Garland and Ronald Sinclair, I think it was, and that was on TCM. That's about Mickey Rooney, uh, you know, he's riding horses, he's a jockey and stuff like that, and this. Young kid, uh, his, his uh, grandfather owns a horse and stuff, and he did get Mickey Rooney to drive it, uh, ride it, I should say, and stop in a race and things. Of course, he throws a race and gets himself into trouble and tries to get out of it and all that kind of stuff. So that's Mickey Rooney and Thoroughbreds Don't Cry. Judy Garland's in it for a while. Uh, good looking young Judy Garland. I don't know how old she was in this one. What was she, uh, 15 years old or something? Something like that. What was this, 37? I forget the years. Maybe sometimes they don't write them down. Anyway, that's Mickey Rooney and uh, Judy Garland, Ronnie, Ronald St. Clair. TCM, give it a six. Thoroughbreds don't cry. Uh, <clears throat> the other one is Love is a Headache. An actress adopts two orphans. Right? So, and it stars uh, Gladys George and Franchard Tone. Is that how you say his name? Franchard Tone. And Mickey Rooney, of course, he's one of the one of the two kids, 1939. Him and another young actress, a girl, I forget her name now. But yeah, they're a brother and sister, and their father uh, dies. He falls, uh, he falls down, uh, falls outside from window cleaning, I guess, and that. So there's two kids, and they're gonna separate them and put them in different homes, and that. That's usually what happens back then. So the the actress. Uh, she uh, ad adopts them to make the story short, right? So that's what that's about. Uh, so I gave it a 7 out of 10, 1939, Mickey Rooney. Um, and the other one I watched was The Big Wheel. That's a yarn about auto racers, you know, race tracks. They're driving around. Ricky, uh, Ricky, uh, M Mickey is, uh, comes into town and he wants to be an auto. He's an auto mechanic. He gets a job working at uh, Thomas Mitchell's. Uh, place and they race cars so he races cars he gets in a race he starts racing cars around he gets to be a big shot he thinks he's a big shot he accidentally kills somebody in a race one of his friends and you know shit happens and that's basically the story how he gets out of it and what happens and all that stuff spring briotings and it has mickey rooney's mother so i gave that a seven i think that's 1949 the big wheel and the other one I watched was uh, Quicksand. Guess who stars in that? Yes, you're right. If you said Mickey Rooney, you're right. Quicksand, which is 1950. An auto mechanic, he works in an auto mechanic. He's an auto mechanic, works in this gas station with a couple of his buddies. He gets a hot date with his girl that was in a restaurant. 
he decides that you know it's his money back from somebody that lent money from him and the guy says yeah I'll pay you back tomorrow and it's too late you know he wants to have a day tonight so you know the light bulb goes off he takes money out of the till 20 bucks <clears throat> and the guy that counts the money or looks after the bills and I was not supposed to be there until Sunday or Monday or whatever the guy shows up right a couple of days early so Mickey's in trouble his character now he tries to find out how he, you know, put the money back. So what does he do? He goes across the street, he gets a watch on time, you know, a dollar down, ten dollars a month or whatever. So he decides to go to the hawk shop and hawk the watch and get money. And then one thing leads to another. He keeps getting himself into trouble, more and more trouble as the movie goes along. So that's Quicksand, 1950, TCM. I gave that a six. It's only a six. It's okay you can watch it, but it's, you know. Nothing special, if you want to put it that way. Yeah. Did I give uh, the big wheel? Uh, uh, I gave the big wheel a seven, just in case I didn't say it. <clears throat> okay. What else did I watch? I watched the movie on the movie channel here at Rogers, the movie channel uh, called Crypto or Crypto, C R Y P T O, 2019. Just this past year. So. Um, a young agent discovers fraud in his company. He's working for this big company, right? Say, say New York, whatever. Well, it can be anywhere. And he gets sent back to his hometown, right? Where his brother and his father live. Kurt Russell's his father. He's in it for, you know, like what, a few scenes? He's in it for a while. Not the whole movie, but here and there. Kurt Russell. So he gets sent back to town. And then he starts looking into things, you know, business things and bank things and money's, you know, lent and all this stuff, right? And it's cryptocurrency, which is, I guess it's not real money, but it is real money. It's hard to explain. Sometimes things I don't understand. But anyway, it's all on paper. And there are Russian mobs involved, and they're selling pictures, and it's a really crazy thing. But it's not a bad story. So uh, I give that a 7. 7 out of 10. It's a worthwhile story. But I wouldn't watch it again. Like one watch, right? And it's one of those movies, like... One watch and it's good enough. And the other movie I watched, I think uh, it's the TCM again. The Devil is a Sissy. Three boys from New York's east side. One an English transplant. He comes from England, right? And he's left with his dad. Um, they get involved in a criminal mischief. You know, Mickey... Ricky Rooney's father dies. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Mickey Rooney's father dies. And he wants to get money for a, a headstone. So that's part of it. And they go around stealing tires and sell tires and stuff like that, right? So then the three boys come mixed up with these gangsters. And they take them. And, um... You know, and the young one, the young English guy, which is Freddie Bartholomew, he gets sick and he gets sent to the hospital, and he's, you know, he's not in good shape and he's dying and all that stuff. Anyway, you gotta, you gotta watch the movie. It's kind of hard to explain, but it stars uh, Mickey Rooney, of course, and Jackie Cooper, and Freddie Bartholomew. It's the three, three guys, the three, three kids, right? They kind of get themselves into trouble, you know, a little bit of trouble and stuff like that. So that was on TCM, 1936. It was a 1936 movie. And I give that a seven. Seven. This one you could watch again. It's fun. It's a fun movie, right? Like I say, not all movies you want to watch again. Like, I'm not, you know, I already, I mean, I already own, own Quicksand as a, as a DVD, the movie itself, right? But I watched it on TCM. <coughs> Mickey Rooney movies, most of them, on the younger ones, when he's younger, right, you can kind of watch them again, over and over again. You know, it's Mickey Rooney. And I watched another movie, I watched it on uh, TCM, it's called Cole, Cole Young, Gun, Gunfighter. It's about revenge, romance, and a court trial. Anyway, Fred James Best, another actor that was in a lot of movies, but very not well known. Of course, then there's Frank Lovejoy. Most people know Frank Lovejoy. Uh, it's from 1958, I think it is, 58. It's on TCM, I give it a six. 
Frank Lovejoy. It's a, you know, it's about a young guy, you know, and the, the sheriff and the blue bellies are running the town and that, right? And they're, they're telling everybody what to do and stuff like that. And some people don't like it. So uh, James Best and his buddy, you know, ride out of town and all that and go hiding and all that. And so it's not, it's not, it's all right. It's not, I wouldn't watch it again. Like I say, this one I wouldn't watch again. I only give it a six, six out of ten. Cole Young, Gunfighter. That's TCM. And the last one I watched this week was the first Texan, Sam Houston, lawyer Sam Houston, moves to Texas from Tennessee to start a new life, but gets drawn in for the fight for the Alamo, you know, the Battle of the Alamo. Joel McRae, he's... Uh, Sam Houston. You know, it's a, it's a story of more of Sam Houston than anything to do with the Alamo. Talks about the Alamo and Jim Bowie's there and stuff like that and Travis, but you never see the fight in the Alamo. You just, the end, end of the movie, you get to see the fight with the Mexican army. Now, over the years, I've seen a lot of things about Sam Houston and the Alamo and different ways of looking at it and stuff like that. And all the Alamo type movies that have to do with it, they're all the same, but they're all different at the same time. You understand what I'm saying? It's like, you know, who really knows, right? You know, to 100% what really happened at the Alamo and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's all based on the true story. It's based on true stories. So I don't even know if this has anything to do with the true story. It has something to do with Sam Houston. You see him putting an army together. You know, his men and all that, right? That storyline's pretty similar to a lot of other movies. But the best part about this movie <laughs> is probably the last half hour. So the first Texan. I give it a 7. I give it a 7 out of 10 just because it's, you know, something to do with the Alamo and Tennessee and stuff like that. You see Davy Crockett, too, for like five minutes. So anyway, that's uh, the movies I watched this week. And there's no Rick and Bob tomorrow, because Rick has something to do. He's busy, so you won't be seeing Rick and Bob. And there's no book of the week either. You're not going to see a, what book I read this week, because I haven't finished the book I'm reading. It's a pretty thick book, so it's taken me a while to read this one. But probably have it done by next week and get to see what, I, what I've been reading, what's taken me so long. But yeah, so it has something to do with Mickey Rooney. Not Mickey Rooney, just something to do with Mickey Rooney, the book I'm reading. But anyway, there you go. So, we'll see you next uh, Friday. And I think next weekend, it's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, in Toronto. And I'm going to be upstairs at my daughter's place. My other daughter's going to be here. And we're going to be having uh, turkey dinner. All right. Enjoy your week. Keep watching those movies. Love to everyone. Peace, love, and rock and roll. I don't usually say that, but that's how I feel today. All right, love to everyone. Love to everyone in the United States, over there in England, here in Canada, and all over the world. Rock. Keep watching the movies. Later.